Today on How It's Made. Microphones. Hot tubs. Artificial turf. And beer steins. Like natural hot springs that are heated by the Earth's crust, a hot tub can give your aching muscles that healing feeling. In fact, the hot tub is a high-tech version of the hot springs phenomenon, and its invention in the middle of the 20th century made the backyard steam part of the suburban dream. There are up to 100 jets in a modern hot tub. Each churns up the water, making waves that have a calming effect on tense and tired muscles. To make a hot tub, they start with a sheet of rigid acrylic. They rest it briefly over a mold of a hot tub. Then a frame-like clamp grips it along the edges and transfers it to an oven. The oven has heating elements on the top and bottom. They bake the acrylic sheet until it's so soft it sags. They transfer the sagging sheet back to the mold. And now they turn on a vacuum system underneath. It sucks the acrylic sheet into the crevices of the mold so that it takes its shape. Then fans cool the molded acrylic and it hardens in just a couple of minutes. Operators then stack the tub shell. They mold swim spa shells using the same technique. Swim spas are longer and deeper than hot tubs. They're for working out, not unwinding. So there aren't many ledges for sitting around. Back in the hot tub department, it's time for a base coat. They spray resin on the shell and then unwind fiberglass twine into a special spray gun. It chops up the twine and mixes it with more resin to give the shell a fiberglass coating that reinforces the acrylic. They press out any air pockets in the fiberglass. Now they aim another spray gun at the underside of the tub. This one contains insulating foam. Then they trim the lip of the tub with a circular saw so it will sit properly in the frame later. They sand the edges and then drill holes for the numerous jets. Working from inside of the tub, an assembler tucks plastic jets into the holes while a worker on the other side pulls the jets through. They apply silicone sealant around each jet then equip it with a plastic ring for aligning the jet to the hot tub frame. Using a special tool, the assembler drives a nut into the assembly to secure it. Next, they dip PVC tubing in adhesive and attach it to the jets, weaving an elaborate web of hoses. The narrower tubing will pipe air to the jets, while the wider hoses will supply water. To prevent leaks, they equip them with self-tensioning clamps. They connect the intake pipe to the pump, which will force water into the tubing. A suction system will return the water to this pump. They wire the tub to provide mood lighting, then test all the wiring and plumbing. They spray more insulating foam on the outside of the tub. It expands drastically, enclosing the labyrinth of pipes and hoses. And for some extra insulation, they wrap foil back plastic around the tub. The foil will reflect any escaping heat back onto the tub. They mount the exterior paneling and drill through the insulation to vent the pumps. Corner molding gives the paneling a nice finish. 
This hot tub is now ready to make waves in the neighborhood. Some versions even come with TVs, so you can watch how it's made without leaving the hot tub. It takes about 20 person hours to make a hot tub or one of these swim spas. And after that, it's time to take a break and relax.